Hi everybody, welcome to this week's reading. Please excuse my attire, I'm just back from a motorcycle ride with my husband. It's a beautiful day here in New Hampshire. Felt like we needed to get out into nature and that's our favorite way to do it is to be on the bike and get some wind therapy. Um, so this week, what I was getting is that I get a sense of um, a lot of chaos, both uh, for us personally as well as in the world, and I feel like the energy is really jumbled. It feels like it's really lots of shards all put together, and people kind of running around like crazy. Okay, what's next? You know, what's falling apart in the world? <laughs> there goes my phone. Um, you know, what's what's happening? And like people with their chickens with their heads cut off kind of feeling. So um, when I was dowsing for this week's reading, I was drawn to the Sabian symbol for Scorpio 17. A woman filled with her own spirit is the father of her own child. And I made some notes here that as I was tuning in that I wanted to be sure that I reference. Um, in addition to this symbol, I was also drawn to once again use this beautiful obsidian sphere and I know her to be go by the name Raven and she is this energy of this this being this crystal um, is wisdom within it's very strong but it can be severe and it goes deep and that's the Scorpio energy Scorpio 17 is the one that we have this week in, I know this as the sorcerer. X marks the spot. Scorpionic energy. This is I, I, this feels like Scorpio to me. Goes deep and doesn't apologize. Basically, it's just going for it. Um, deep and cleansing in the pit of the stomach. Like going really deep, and it's like a truth serum. You know this this energy. So that is contributing to this symbol. And I feel like the overall theme for this week is about us being self-sufficient. It's about us finding our own discipline within us to be responsible for ourselves. It's almost like we're raising ourselves. We're parenting ourselves. We can't ask somebody else to do that work for us. Instead, um, even the most complicated of tasks or when we feel like this whole world is falling apart and what can I possibly do? Even what seems the most complicated and complex can always be broken down into steps and I'm just suggesting once again this week because like last week this week feels deep too but I just want you to get personal with it and Try the best that you can, and I know this is hard because we're all very um, passionate beings and we can't stand the injustice that we see in the world and perhaps in our own lives. But I'm just asking you for a moment, at different moments in this coming week, to try to step into your own life. What is going on in your experience? And to take those, uh, those aspects of your life and make them very um, tangible for yourself. To take that, to have the discipline to be able to be responsible for yourself and not blaming whatever chaos may be in your life on other things. You can handle this. You are mature and you are capable. That is very much the energy I get this week. There's also a lot of fire in our skies. All the planets are broken into elements um, based on which signs of the zodiac they're sitting within in the sky. And when I last looked, I think there were five planets in fire signs. And this is a real shift from where we have been. We were in a little bit of watery uh, territory before. Um, and it keeps shifting around. But right now, this cycle that we're in is very fiery. And so we're seeing a lot of fire out there as well. And in some of our um, personal relationships, perhaps. So 
Additionally, I want to say we have a full moon coming up on Tuesday, the 19th. I think that's Tuesday. Um, full moon is in Capricorn, and it's opposing the sun in Cancer. So it's about finding the balance between those two. Cancer is deeply feeling. Cancer gets totally lost in all of this chaos that's going on and just wants to hide away. And Capricorn is an earth energy and it's very grounded and it's like, okay, no, we need to make a plan. And that's why I'm feeling that Capricorn, this has a Capricorn feel to it this week. That you are responsible, a woman filled with her own spirit, your own sense of discipline and knowledge and wisdom. You've gained a lot. I don't care what age you are that you're listening to this video. You've gained a lot of knowledge in your life thus far. You are capable of moving forward in a streamlined pattern that has a plan and that anything that seems complex or complicated, you simply break it down into steps. That's the beauty of having the human mind is that we can break anything down into easily achievable steps. Okay, so it's a woman filled with her own spirit is the father of her own child. You make your experience happen. You make things manifest in your life by your doing. Okay, that Capricorn energy is about achievement. So this week, yeah, it's about knowing you have the strength, the tools, and the resources within you and just your team is just waiting for you to step up to the plate. So that's what the readings are about this week. It's very, Capricorn is no nonsense, and that's what the raven is too. This is about deep knowing in the pit of your stomach, everything's changed, and I'm moving forward, and I'm going to decide how this life is going to go. It's very decisive, but it's deep. And knowing that you have, there's a lot of power, empowerment, and I, I keep wanting to use the word discipline. That only you can have the discipline over your own life to bring that chaos or um, perceived chaos or complications into alignment, into a more streamlined model for yourself. Okay, based on the way you choose to think and look at your life, the people in it, the circumstances, all of the above. Okay, so I'm going to keep referring to my notes here because I, it was just there were certain messages that were coming through. The other thing I want to say as an intro, um, this week I do feel really strong horse energy. And... Um, it, by that, what I mean is this sense of wild spirit. I think that's why I wanted to wait till after we got off the Harley, is because that's how I feel when I'm on that bike with my husband, is this sense of wild freedom. I, it's a it's a feeling like I can't explain, but for me, it really it really um, comes into tune uh, through that activity. And so that feels like this is go your own way. This is having a sense of like the horses, thinking about wild mustangs. I love, that's my favorite imagery. You know, just taking to the plains and having so much power as an individual being, just like an individual horse. And the more you see these groupings of horses all coming together and stampeding down that plain, or in the beautiful mountains, um, there's immense power in that. And that's why they call the power that's in our engines of our cars horsepower. Because that's, that's the crux of what I'm getting to with this re week's reading, is that as you take personal responsibility and discipline over your own life about things that just ain't working anymore, or an adventure you want to go on. Have the discipline and the, the self-confidence in yourself. Nobody else can do that for you. Nobody else can give you, can keep boosting you up. Okay, no, nope, up by the bootstraps. Come on, come on. Eventually, what if they're not there? You know, so you have to do it. This is personal. And as we each do that, every one of us, 
okay? Wouldn't it be amazing if everybody who watched this video all took that sense of real strong discipline like, all right, I'm not, I'm not going to add to the chaos here. I am going to take charge of what I can in my own life, clean up my vibration that you're offering out in the field, and as we do that, we create a much stronger, coherent um, front of energy like a stampede of running Mustangs. Um, that's the, what I feel, okay? So, long intro here. Let's get going. All right, so first up we have, um, this is the uh, messages from your animal spirit guides. This is the first card. And it is the falcon is the energy. All right. With that is a member of my fire team. This is known to me as adventurer. It is Sagittarius energy. It's fire. Um, and this is um, an, uh, geez, it just went out of my head. This is my Amazonite. <laughs> Because I'm so used to calling them by their name that I know them as. Um, beautiful stone, but this is about um, an increase of energy in particularly, particular I was getting for you that chose this card. Um, increase in energy levels, definitely Sagittarius energy, like trying new things, learning new things, not being afraid of new things. Go, go, go. Can be travel also. Um, and the song Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses um, was coming out <laughs> as I picked this up because that's the energy that we're in. Welcome to the jungle. But, are you, but this, this is like this energy. When I first picked up this stone, when I was having my conversations with them to get to know them and the energies, I was seeing this this adventure just you know kind of cutting away all this brush in the jungle to make a path forward and that's what I'm getting for you this week like being totally unafraid to move forward and with the falcon energy what this says on it is act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation it ties perfectly to this message um, this is about whatever it is for you that may seem complicated, complex, uh, maybe a little emotional, like overload emotional because we've been swimming in the waters of the emotions lately, and, um, or you're caught up in the world events. It's time to get adventurous about life and to move forward in whatever action steps to make things so they're not complicated, so they're not chaotic. We all can do that, but we have to, you can't eat an elephant in one bite. So break it down into small steps and then commit to it without equivocation. Don't, no wasting energy on looking back. No more for you that chose this card. No looking back. This is adventurer. Welcome to the jungle, baby. You are already moving ahead. You've got that, um, I wish I knew the right words here, the big sword that they use in the um, jungle, whatever that is. Uh, you're chopping down like bamboo and all this stuff that's in your way. And, you know, the bugs are just going out of your path and everything is becoming more clear. But you have to do the work to make that path happen. And so this is very much, I mean, again, personal responsibility, personal momentum in moving forward. But just don't stop. And God forbid, don't look back. Because it's like that, there's nothing there for you. That's what I get. It's very strong energy for all of us this week. But you who chose this card, like you need to, you've got a lot of momentum that is building up or has been building up. So think about the new adventure ahead, or if in areas of chaos, break it down into small steps so that you can begin to look at it as a new adventure. And that brings a lot more joy to the whole picture when you look at it that way. Okay? All right, card number two is from the Soul Coaching Deck. 
All right, and you have a beautiful card called Radiance. Be the light. Wow, the lighthouse. Look at all those, you know, churned up waves. And there you are. You are the light. It says, I am a radiant reflection of God's light. And there is a heart that is at the center of that light. So, with that, the other energy I want to talk about is this piece of selenite. And this to me is, the selenite is about slicing through smog, and it's a deep cleanser. It's very serious cleansing stone. And um, this one I had actually had not named. It didn't, because I, I feel that I'm going to be giving this to somebody, and I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know who that is yet. Uh, I know it will come up, but you're slicing through that's what this image the lighthouse slices through whatever fog exists to offer light so for you this week if there's chaos if there's confusion if you don't know where you're going if you're caught up in a lot of uh, having multiple paths multiple options you could take um, that's what it feels like for you uh, is like I'm, I'm getting a sense of like okay I could go that way or oh I'm not sure stop stop get yourself cleansed meaning get clear in your mind throw out mentally and emotionally in the moment when you're ready to think about the path forward clean house on anything in your mental space and your emotional space that you no longer need to hold on to because that's cutting through the smog you need to get to the clear light you need to get to this clear place that's above all this chaos down here anything that's been going on you need to rise up above it assert your own sense of discipline and your capability, I mean, you're fully capable of moving ahead and picking a path or of having a true light on a situation or a person or whatever it is. But know that you have it within you. And it's, you know, your team is saying you just, you got to cut through the smog because that's what's building up here. I'm looking to see. And also it's seeing... This crystal, what I get is one-sided, going from one-sided to multifaceted. And you might be looking at your options and thinking only in terms of a certain outcome with those different options. But try to look at all parts of the potential outcome. It's hard to say because this is a general reading. But look at all sides of whatever it is that you most want to tackle this week um, and don't don't judge it too much there's many sides and when we get fixated on well this must be what she meant or this is what he needs to do you know you need to bring it back to it being personal again and just look at all the possible options that it could be because we can't really know we can't really truly be in another person's shoes so by seeing all the possible options then you start to feel like you're less boxed in and you've got more radiant light coming out in all directions okay and that brings more opportunity to you and just raises your whole vibrational energy overall so um, just know that there could be multiple facets to whatever you're considering I also want to say one other thing on this crystal this is very good friends with this raven energy. So it's about really trusting in your inner wisdom and going deep with it, right into the pit of your stomach. What does the pit of your stomach tell you? And don't be afraid to go deep on it, even if it's not necessarily what you want to hear or what you want to think about. We're in these times right now where we're facing things, but man, you can make miraculous things happen. As this symbol points out, a woman filled with her own spirit is the father of her own child. Is If you are filled up in your container, if you have 
cut through that smog and this is you even in these turbulent times you have this level of radiance there's nothing that can bring you down you know you're just gonna have more opportunities coming to you so just uh, don't get too jumbled up in the energy uh, it's important to stay true to you and feel capable and disciplined in holding your own light and not allowing the smog to kind of take over or the fog uh, to take over all right the final card is from the Magdalene Mary Magdalene deck uh, which I love as you all know and it is the beloved and I'm so drawn to the colors of this card um, it's just breathtaking these are crown chakra and third eye chakra in particular with this we have the orange carnelian is making yet another appearance wild freedom this is known as when I tapped into this the message of all the messages I get from this crystal for you this week this is about expecting things to work out for the best and it's horse energy this is those Mustangs I was talking about um, being in the moment that's eh, the thing with horses is they're so present and even when there is something you know they feel the vibration of something that could potentially harm them or be a threat they are attuned to it and they respond and then they go back to grazing when it's all said and done and this is the beloved is a real sense of a your team has got your back it, this is very loud and clear you are the beloved to them they're fully supporting you um, and there's just a sense of I want to say calm it's like it's a it's like a, a very solid stone wall that I'm being shown that is this basis for you that your whole energy field is being placed upon right now it's very solid it's ancient it's handcrafted by you all your former lifetimes all your ancestors have helped out this is crazy I've never seen this kind of vision before it makes me want to cry um, there's such a sense of teamwork that I see with this stone wall and it's it's everybody has put their hand into it to find the right stone this is like there's no mortar used for this wall it's but it's a wall upon which it's like your whole energy field sits on that wall it's not a wall to block people that's cancer can be cancer energy um, where the Sun is right now cancer is the crab is known as you know the the glyph of it is the crab and cancer can be tricky because cancer can be all out there and cancer can be very withdrawn too and so um, we just need to be in a place where we are open to being a little vulnerable but knowing that that wall is down beneath and not using the wall to hide yourself like the crab runs away and is a hermit we can't go to that place okay we have to be willing to be vulnerable and know that we're supported and this uh, wild freedom is just another indication of really needing to come into a place of knowing that everything's going to work out keep going please keep going and stay solid stay solid within your being because that is the very best option of all okay so there we go there's all of the messages for this week i hope it was helpful again stay strong and true to you and know that you're capable and have the discipline to move ahead this week even amidst all the chaos that is happening and you can hear i got an alarm going off inside my phone was going off the jingle of the wind chimes out here there can be chaos but we don't have to respond to that immediately okay we don't we don't have to take part and make it our own we can take a moment and stay centered 
and use our own discipline to bring ourselves to a place that feels good to us. Have a good week.